2.5 million people visited Ontario Place when it opened in 1971. Now most of the visitors arrive with construction equipment, working on a revitalization that when complete will welcome 6 million visitors a year, according to Infrastructure Ontario estimates. The agency says its tenant, Therma Canada, who will be building a water park and wellness spa here, will pay the province nearly $2 billion over a 95-year lease, doing so through base rent, operation and maintenance costs, but also performance rent, meaning if the company does well, the province gets more money. They say Therma's wellness facility and water park will contribute an estimated $128 million to GDP every year. NDP leader Marit Stiles didn't hold back what she thinks of the numbers. It relies entirely on Therma being one of the most successful businesses ever, which really, I mean, who is asking for another luxury spa in downtown Toronto? Um, I think this isn't real math. I think this is government spin. Major tourist attractions around the world get fewer than Therma's projected 6 million visitors a year. The Statue of Liberty gets around 4 million visitors. The London Eye, 3.5 million. Here at home, the CN Tower, around 2 million. This marketing professor says looking at data from successful similar attractions, the numbers don't add up. 6 million people is about 16,000 people a day. Um, that seems quite high to me. The largest water park in the world, which is in Guangzhou in China, um, has the ability to attract about 3 million people a year. It left this tourism manager professor shaking his head. When you think about Toronto, you're talking about we're about 9 million person overnight person destination. So you would be then talking about 66% of all visitors who came to Toronto went to that spa. <laughs> so I'm not sure that is the mathing maths there, so to speak. Infrastructure Ontario was challenged by media about their visitor estimates. A spokesperson says it includes the whole site, which also includes the Parkland, Future Science Centre and a music venue, saying whatever the number is in the end, it will certainly be in excess of the greatly reduced traffic to Ontario Place that we've seen for the last 12 years. Clara Pasika, CBC News, Toronto.